To me, or does Ursa look a little less Asian and more like Cecil? This is Wolf of Fallen, and we will answer those questions in... probably never. Anyways, last time we were beginning our journey... Oh. So I got some equipment for everybody. Feather caps, iron armlets. Uh, Yanny's got some pretty really good equipment. Remember, high potion? Don't equip anything really good on the generic monks. If you haven't guessed, they ain't gonna be sticking around for very long. Mount Hobbs is kind of slightly changed here. There we go. Kaipo gear. Bronze breastplate. Hmm. Eh, not much better, but it does increase her attack. Ooh, we have some souls! We've already seen the spirits. Well, we've already seen the souls as well, but not in this chapter. The only thing Ursula should really be doing is using Chakra on any characters who has low HP. The lowest HP a character has, use Chakra on them. Have everybody else attack! Ursula's gonna be somewhat weak when we start. We haven't seen Blood Bones, weak to fire. Ursula missed. She'll be a lot better if you put her in the front row, but like I said, since she's your only means of healing, she's a little better off in the front row. Second, I'm also... I should de-equip her claws and give them to the other two. So the other two can do a little more damage. Because if you only have one claw equipped, they'll only attack once as opposed to twice. Like that. Yeah, go here. Move. Move. My space claw. Lightning claw. There we go. So now they'll attack twice. Now in this chapter, certain phases of the moon aren't really going to affect you much, like the ones that affect black and white magic. So this chapter is a little better, since you don't have either one of them. There's Naming Way. You're going to want to speak to him when you want to do the challenge dungeon. There's a save point as well. Phoenix down. Decoy, which lets you escape from battle high potion. So let's go check out this shooting star that people were mentioning in the last episode. Hey, naming way. Ooh, we can buy some supplies from him. Like I said, pick up potions and high potions if you have the chance. Pick up high drops are always good. Old needles are always good. Always good. Here we have... I think we've seen all these. I don't remember nothing. They really have anything interesting going on. But I don't think we've seen the regular goblins in this playthrough. We'll just punch him in the face a couple of times. Ah, she missed. He didn't. Yeah, that's the crappy part about Ursula being in the back, is she loses quite a bit of accuracy. Power armlet. It's a good one to put on Ursula when she becomes more of a physical fighter. So you'll see this large crater and some gargoyles that we haven't fought yet, I do not believe. See, it's hard keeping track what the hell I fought and what I haven't. They change slightly in each chapter, and... So here is the crater, you can go back out. The crater is kind of weird. It's a little hard to navigate. Well, not hard, just kind of confusing if you don't understand at first. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing too good. This is after Sephiroth has won. Could it have come from the moon? Meteors have become very popular in the Final Fantasy series. First one being in 5. So see these little lighter places? You can actually jump up and down at these points. So it's kind of like uh, the mountain outside mist. Got alligators and amoeboids, Chakra. Him. I believe the alligators are weak to ice, and I believe these amoeboa, whatever. I just killed their weak to thunder. You should easily be able to destroy enemy in it, any enemy in this chapter with uh, single hits if you level up properly. So there's one area done with. Here's where it gets a little more confusing. Just kind of got to pay attention to your surroundings. Ooh, fishies. I don't know why these things are there. I don't even know how they're dangerous. What are they doing? Flopping around on the ground in front of you? Obviously some of the best moons you want is when attacks up or down, depending on what enemy you're facing. If the attack's down, you might be weaker, but Ursula will, Ursula will be able to deal with healing much easier. Or if abilities are up. So I think if abilities are up, black magic is down. So that that's a good one to have. Headband. Ooh. First look could use a headband. No? Okay. It's kinda of weird. I guess nobody can use a headband. Maybe headbands will just boost the strength. Uh yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Yang's a powerhouse. I'd rather get the strength on Yang. So yeah, like I said, here is gonna be a bit more confusing. Uh, that just leads to the save point if you go to that one there. Metal Knuckle. Ooh. No. On the headband. Increase my stats a little bit. I got a cat running around on me, trying to defend. Oh, we got toads. Take them out in one hit, otherwise they will counterattack with toad. Weak to, uh... Obviously weak to... Uh... Ace? I still can't remember if we've seen all these enemies yet. Hop down. Ooh, and we got a Giga Gator. I don't know why I had her still attack there. I wasn't paying attention. Good going, Monk A. They could have given them some names. They could have just called them like Joe. Bob and Joe. Monk, Bob and Joe. I don't know why they couldn't. Or Alan and... Baldwin or something. Uh, that's it. Alan, Blake, and Carter. Those would be some good monk names, I think. Silver Armlet? Uh, no, I don't want to put it on here. The power is slightly better. Leave those are special. Yeah, they can confuse enemies. Step off and back on. Huh, something over here. Monks, well, what, what what happened here?
It's our old friends, the slice. So this is just as the uh, Feymarge summons were being turned to stone. In Rydia's chapter there, if you remember. I don't know Yang, but uh, yeah, we should really get back. So we gotta climb back up. Yang's chapter is, you'll notice it's probably one of the shortest one, but one of the ones that has like the most fighting associated with it. Just trying to get out of here, that's all I want. I think it's a little easier to get out, but uh... I think we're in the final area. Yep, there it is. I'm free! Oh, I gotta go to Mount Hobbs. I gotta go through all that again. Oh. Yeah, this chapter's gonna have like the most fighting, because I think we're like 50% of the way through our Ready. Ooh, full moon. Uh, crap, my attack's down. At least black magic's down. Usually, if you can't use black magic, then the enemy won't be able to use black magic. What's going on? I sense a disturbance in the force. Oh god, that's not a, that's a fleet of airships. Oh crap. Uh, get me off of this mountain. Dun, 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 wrong way. Gotta get there, quickly. Can't believe how long this video is going just from battles. Half of this video is going to be cut out battles. <laughs> uh, should be there, there we go. Let's get going. Happy Music World music plays and... I like the little animation of his hair swinging back and forth. Fabul! Let's check on it. Okay, well everything seems to be okay so far. What must we do? Um, reminds me of Wot Wutai. Or rather, Wutai reminds me of this. I kind of always imagine that uh, Cecil and Ursula would grow up together. They'd be a pretty good couple.
welcome. You guys look. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're going to attack us. Oh, here's our third monk. Oh, monk D kind of sits in the background now. Oh, damn, that was a good one, monk C. There we go. Yang gained the level. But it looks like once again, we're under fire from the Red Wings. In the next episode, we'll see if we can save Fabul from all this disaster. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.